ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ವಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷಿಕ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವದ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರೇತ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ವರ್ಷ ನಂಬರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಅನಂತಸ್ಮಿಗಾಣೋಯಾಮ ಪಿತ್ರೀರಾಂ ಅರ್ಯಮಾಚಾಸ್ಮಿ ಯಮ ಸಂಯಮತ ಅಹಂ ಐ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅನಂತಸ್ಮಿ ನಾಗಾಣೋಯಾಮ ಪಿತ್ರೀಣಾಂ ಅರ್ಯಮಾಚಾಸ್ಮಿ ಯಮ ಸಂಯಮತ ಅಹಂ ಸೀ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅನಂತ ದ ಅನ್ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ the serpent god cha and asmi i am naganam among the nagas varunah the god of water yadasam the lord of aquatic creatures aham i pitrinam among the men aryamah the head of the pitris cha and asmi am yama the god of death sayyamtam among rulers aham i now see the translation among nagas a special class of serpent i am the serpent god ananta and i am varuna the lord of waters and aquatic creatures among the ancestors i am aryama the head of pitris and among rulers i am yama the god of death now see the again translation at the different way of the nagas i am ananta the serpent god of a, of aquatic creatures and water gods i am the varuna among the ancestors i am the aryama and among rulers of life i am the yamaha the god of death now sri krishna is describing its another vibhuti the glory manifestation so god can be thought anywhere everywhere very easily so that is why he is giving so many different kind manifestation now he takes the nag nag the particular species of serpent they are supposed to be more dangerous for life like cobra so they are very very danger for life they are very poisonous 
So that is why we are so afraid from the like cobra because we love the life. They are danger to life. Sri Krishna says, they are also my manifestation. And not only they, Nagaha, the serpent, we can see. Sri Krishna is talking the extremely, extremely danger in shape of Nagas. Extremely. And that Nag is, we call it Sheshanak in mythology. Mythology, it is said, there is a Seshnak. And Sri Krishna, the Vishnu, is sleeping on his coil. And Sri, he is protecting Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu did not require any protection, but as a devotee. As a devotee, whatever we can do, we do for God. We offer some fruit for the God. We offer some prasad for God. We offer everything. This is our devotion. This is not God's requirement. This is our devotion. So the Seshnag, that Seshnag has thousand heads, thousands. In Vedas, in scriptures, thousand means unlimited. Thousand, not a number. So that is why in Vedas, when we chant Shastra Sirka Purka, Shastra Sirka, Shastra means thousand. The God has thousand heads. So God has thousand hands, legs. So here thousand does not mean a check thousand. Thousand means unlimited. So for us in our life, if there is a cobra with one hood, it becomes very fearful to us. In our life, if we encounter any cobra who has one hood and we become so, so fretful, so fearful. And if do you remember, there is a Bhagavatam, there is a story. Lord Sri Krishna danced. There was also a Nag. Its name was Kaliya Nag. The Kaliya Nag had hundred hoods. And Sri Krishna was dancing over her, over his hoods. And Sri Krishna is sleeping on the Seshanag. Seshanag's hoods are like umbrella. So this is the speciality of the God. It shows the capability of the God. It shows its godliness that whatever is fearful to us, the extremely it would have been most fearful, the serpent of the king. It is a protector. It is not a matter of fearness. It is a matter of fearness. So Sri Krishna says, this nag, this serpent is my manifestation. So in our life, if you have fear, cause of fear, everything is my manifestation. Anantasyasmi Nagana. See, the Lord Shiva 
and what he does. Shiva also wearing so many nagas like a garland. So God is who can control the fear. God means the above the fear. Anantasyasmi naganam varuno yad samaham Then he says, I am the Varuna. Varuna means we believe that the, the God Varun is the God of water. Today, in this media time, you may encounter so many news, so many rumors. There are so many mermaids, mermaids in the water. People are talking about mermaids. They may be right, they may be wrong. But in our scriptures, it is written, Varun is a God. And Varun has a look, a place, a realm. There is a sub-deity, sub-gods. They worship Varun. So Varun is the king of all gods who belong to the water. Sri Krishna says, Varunu Yad Sam Aham. Pitrinam Aryama. Then comes another Pitri. So, what is the Pitri? Pitri means ancestor. Like this is our Prathvi Lok. You can say the Mrityu Lok, human Lok. Then comes Pitri Lok. Then Gandharva Lok. Yakshalok, Devalok. So there are so many lokas. Lokas means the state of experience. When we are experiencing through the human body, it becomes Manishalok for us. So our ancestor, forefathers who had died, but they did not get a proper body. They did not get a proper look like a swarg, heaven. These forefathers will go to Pitri Lok. It is like waiting room. Waiting room. So this is the Pitri Lok. And the king is Aryama. So Sri Krishna says, Pitrinam Aryama Chaham. I am the Aryama, the king of ancestors. Now, Yama Sayyamatamaham. Another very, very, very beautiful manifestation of Sri Krishna. He says, the yam. Yam means what? Yam means the Lord of Death. The controller of the death. What death does? Sri Krishna gives explanation here. Sayyam tamaham. Sayyam means controller. Controller. So Yama, the god of death, is the real, real ruler of the world. No one can disobey his rule. And he never does partiality. Whoever he ready, he takes. He does not think what is the condition for that man. The death of the God, the Yama, will not think 
see very beautiful, very auspicious period is going on here. People are enjoying party. So we should wait. Like sometime policeman comes to arrest someone. And people are doing some function. So policemen can wait some time. Let it be over. So what is the condition? Death will not think. What is age? What is the quality? What is the cost? What is the nationality? The God does not think anything. Whenever time comes, he takes away. And the Yama is a controller for everything, for everyone. He is beyond of all. As we see, there is a controller of the city. The city controller is the under a press, a chief minister, because chief minister is a controller of the state. So he has a higher post. But controller of the state, the country, the more has more powerful post. He has more power. The president has more power. But Yama has all powers. He can use any power anywhere with anyone. Yama say Yama Tamaham. And Kathopanishad, you may have heard about that. Yamaraj Brahma Vidya Acharya. Yamaraj is the great master. He gave the realization knowledge for the Nachiketa. Sri Krishna says that Yamaha, Yamaraj is my manifestation. So do not afraid. Do not be fearful from the Yamaraj. Just fear from your bad activities. Not from the Yamaraj. Now next one. Praladas chasmi daityanam kala kalayatamaham mraganam mragindroham vainate yascha pakshina I repeat, Praladas chasmi daityanam kala kalayatamaham Mriganam chamragindroham vainate yascha pakshinam. See the its word meaning. Pralada, the famous devotee. Cha and Asmi am Daityanam among the demons. Kala time. Kalayatam among Rek nurse. Aham I. Mriganam among four feet. Cha even so Mrigendraha, the king of beast, lion, Aham I, Vainateya Garunasan of Vinitaha, Cha and Pakchinam among words. See the translation. Among the Daityas, I am the great devotee Prahlad. And among the Rekhners, I am the time. Among the four lakes, I am the lion. And among the words, I am the Garuda. See the translation another way. Among the demons, I am Prahlad. Among Rekhners, I am the, of existence. I am the time, among beasts I am the lion, and among birds I am the Garuda, the vehicle of Vishnu. 
Now Sri Krishna is talking about Daitya. Daitya means the David. For Sri Krishna, each every thing of the world as the God. If you see a demon, how can you, how can you remember the God? If you are in temple, you can meditate on God. If you see a great master, you can meditate on God. If you are up in on pilgrimage, you can chant the name of the God. You can remember the God. Because they are like God. But Sri Krishna is giving such things. They are very opposite to God. Even though you can think about the God. Very opposite of the God, what is? What is the very opposite of the God? Opposite of the God is the demons. Daitya. So there was the Rishi Kasya. He had one wife. Her name was Diti. And Diti's son is called Daitya. Daiti. And they are supposed to be demons. They are just opposite godliness. That means the mentality which does not, which does not accept God. And even though he is just obstacle to whom they want to remember God. So they create the situation, no one can remember the God. So that is the definition of the demons. Sri Krishna says, in demons there are also my manifestation. How? If you remember the, if you see the Ravan, how can you remember the God? You would be fearful. If you encounter the Kans, do you remember? Do you think that you will would you would remember the God? In your mind, there would be fear. You would try to escape. But Sri Krishna is giving an example. Among the Daityas, among the Daityas. Yes, there is Ravan, Kumbhakaran, unlimited Daityas are. Some Daityas may be good. But for me, my choice is among the Daityas, I am the great devotee Prahad. And I, I think, do you, you know the story of the Prahad? What kind of situation he was facing? A great devotee was Dhruva also. But Dhruva had not such conditions. He was suffering. But there was no obstacles. If Dhruva want to stay, in the palace, he could live there. If he want to go the forest, do some austerity, he had choice. But condition of the Prahlad were very, very difficult. There was no any support. He was alone. I would say, a single member of opposite party. No one was supporting. Everyone was against the God. Because his father. 
His father was real, real demon. He made announcements in his entire kingdom. No one can chant the name of the God. If someone does so, he would be killed. It was announced. So that is why everyone was so afraid, so fearful. No one was ready to chant the name of the God. Because no one wants to die. No one was ready to take such risk. Because whenever there are some scooches for escape from the God and we use. I want to do this, but I have this problem. I want to study Gita, but there is no time. I want to do this Japa, but this problem, that problem. So we, our life is life full of problems. Only for one thing, and that is spirituality. So for spirituality, we have so many excuses. Unlimited excuses. See the character of Prahlad. He was facing, he was encountering such, such very, very danger situation. I think that is why he was very strong. These fears made him very, very strong. Why so many people are against the God? So that is why he becomes so strong. Something is very, very important. Opposite. His father became his first enemy. He tried so many times to kill him. He could not succeed. This is a different thing. Sri Krishna says, if you want to see me in demons, just remember the Prahlad. Prahlad Shasmi Daityanam. Kala Kaleyatamaham. Kala means time. What's the time? Time means like we divide time according to our convenience. Like a part of the time we call it seconds. Another part of the time we call it minutes, hours, quarter, the day, the night, the week. And we, for our enjoyment, we make weekend. So we can, we are so happy. Weekday are not so good. We don't like weekday. We want always weekends. So this is our counting. Weekday, weekend, then the month, the year, decades, century, and so many, so many, so forth. There is no any division in the time. But we count it. Because our convenience. And the counter were the great rishis. In our Indian astrology, there are Vedic mathematics. Very strong. 100% correct. See the mathematics. In Vedas, there is not only about some spirituality. See the depth. Their depth are mathematics. 
they can predict everything what is going to happen in after 100 years what day what time in which country eclipse will going to happen a pandit a priest who did not travel from his village but that priest could explain the sun eclipse the lunar scale eclipse will take place 100 years before ago and that priest did not have any equipment any device today we have so many equipments we have so many devices we have so much investment we are paying so heavy salary same thing they are doing the priest also talks same thing which we are talking from the laboratory this is the mathematics sri krishna says i am the kalaha this kal and second minute everything i am mriganam chamragendroham <clears throat> if you are watching the beasts cow buffalo elephants horses god is there in form of the king of beasts and that's lion lion eats meat lion kills animals not for killing not for taste it is nature vainate yasya pakshinam another sri krishna says if you are watching the words there is a crow pigeon any any word you are watching you can remember the god sri krishna says varjun i am the king of the words the king of the words is the garud it is a garud it is vahan vehicle of the lord vishnu and this is also kashyapsan as i told you kashyap rishi kashyap rishi if you don't remember your goth just say kashyap kashyap so kashyap's another wife was vanita she had two sons one became the bhagwan surya's pilot chariot and another was garud he was the vehicle of lord vishnu now next one pavana pavatam asmi rama shastra vrtam aham jashana makaras chasmi srotsa masmi jannavi one more time pavana pavatam asmi rama shastra vrtam aham jashana makaras chasmi srotsam asmi jannavi see the word meaning pavana the wind pavatam among the purifier asmi am rama sri ram shastra vrtam among wielders of weapons aham ai jasanam among fishes makarad alligator cha and asmi am srotsam among rivers asmi am janavi the ganga see the translation among purifier i am the wind 
Among warriors, I am the Rama. Among fishes, I am the alligators. And among rivers, I am the Ganga. See the translation again. Among purifier, I am the wind. Among warriors, I am the Rama. Among fishes, I am the alligator. And among streams, I am the Ganga. Pavana Pavatasana. If you are feeling the breach, cold breach, very beautiful smell is there. It may be cold breeze, it may be hot breeze, it may be with good smell, it may be with bad smell. So breeze age, wind is everywhere with us. Inside, outside. We are in the wind. Wind is life, Frank. So Krishna says, you can remember me through the wind. One quality Sri Krishna is giving here. You may know another quality about wind. Wind is life. Yes, good. But Sri Krishna gives here one special quality of the wind and that is purifiery. Purifier. Wind is purifier. It removes our ugliness from everywhere. It purifies. The wind purifies. Nas us everything. See, if somewhere is very much pollution and wind comes, wind comes from the forest. Wind comes from the ocean and all pollutions disappears. See, earth also is purifier. You put the water in the earth, earth will purify it. Water also purifier. Even fire also purifier. But air is the best purifier. Best purifier is air. So these four elements earth, water, fire, air they are purifier. They purify all system. We create impure. This nature creates pure. And the air is the best purifier. Sri Krishna says, that is, I am Rama Sastra Bhritamaham. As you know, Sri Ram is the incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Same, Sri Krishna is also incarnation of the Lord Vishnu. But Sri Krishna is not saying, I am the Ram. He says, I am the Ram in a different quality. Not as an incarnation. I am the Ram because now see, Sri Krishna is giving Gita knowledge in the field of the Mahabharata. There are so many 18 Achoini Sena with arms. They had their all weapons. Sri Krishna says, Arjun, if you if you see these warriors, they all are warriors, I am among of them. And my incarnation, my manifestation is Ram. Ram is the best bearer of the arms. Because Ram knows where and how to use the arms. Having the weapons is not a big thing. To kill someone is not a good, very big thing. 
to protect someone is the best thing. So we do not use the vehicle weapons to kill someone. We have to use our weapons to save someone. Sri Ram had weapons, but he knows how to how to use them, how to control them. to control. And whenever he uses, he never miss his arrow. It is a sad when he shoots any arrow, it will go, it will go and finish his target and comes back. Because he fought with the Ravan. And he had only few arrows. So he can use properly. He can reuse properly. So he was the best. Rama Sastra Vratamaham. Jasanam Makarasyasmi. And another he is saying, the creature who lives in the water, like fishes, I am the alligator. He is like a king. Srotsa Masmi Jannavi. Srotsa Masmi Jannavi. There are so many rivers, streams, big and small. They are going here to there. They are traveling to the ocean. Sri Krishna says, if you think in the rivers as God, then I am the Janavi, the Ganga. Ganga. It is a very, very divine river. Very divine river. Scientifically, it is proved the water of the Ganges has a quality to kill even cancer cells. It has divine quality. So this is very superficial definition. Killing a cancer cells is not so big thing. Killing the inner sins is big thing. We can kill the cancer cells through the medicine also. We can kill the cancer cells through the injection also. We can put some chemicals to kill the cancer cells. So this is not a big thing. But, but the water of the Ganges can kill our sins who resides in our mind. This is the great thing. No other water can do that. Only Ganges water can. Now, next one. Saraganam adirantascha madhyam chaivaha marjuna adhyatma vidya vidyanam vada pravadatamaham. I repeat again. Saraganam adirantascha madhyam chaivaha marjuna adhyatma vidya vidyanam vada pravadatamaham. See the word meaning, Saraganam of creation, Adi, the beginning, and the end, Cha and Madhyam, the middle, Cha and Ev as well, Aham, I am, Archun, O Archun, Adhyatma Vidya, the knowledge of the soul, Vidyanam of knowledge, Vada, the reaching, Pravadatam, in disputation, aham I. Now see the translation. Overchun, I am the beginning and middle and the end of the creations. Of all knowledge, I am the knowledge of the soul. Among disputish, disputants, I am the right type of reasoning. Now he is saying, Overchun, the entire creation. It's my, it's my manifestation. 
the entire creation is my glory. Before beginning, I was there. When this creation will destroy, I will remain. Even now, in the form of the creation, I am here. Sarganam Adirantasya. So this is my, my manifestation. Adhyatma Vidya Vidyaram. Vidya means uh, your knowledge, the faculty of the knowledge, the division of the knowledge. According to situation, we have developed so many faculty of the knowledge for entertainment, for medical science, we have developed so many, so many skills in so many fields. Someone is a doctor, someone is an engineer, the artist, architect, painter, IT engineer. So there are so many faculties, so many methods of knowledge. And through these methods, we can earn money. We can earn some post prestige, Nobel Prize. It can be achieved. But Sri Krishna says, among these Vidya knowledge is, I am the knowledge of soul. If you know the soul, you know everything. If you don't know soul, no meaning to know anything. You are zero. Someone may be good doctor, the best doctor of the world. But after death, he empty handed. Nothing is in his hand. A poor person may be more rich than their doctor after death. Vidyanam adhyatma vidya vada pravadatam ham. Here is one uh, thing we have to understand this method. Sri Krishna says vada pravadatam ham. So there are three forms of argumentations for actually I have some concept I have some philosophy some principle you may have some other type principles notions your understanding and we discuss we argument we get debates who is principally the good. So, there are three forms of argumentation, three types, three categories. And they are known by the names Jalp, Vitanda, and Vat. They are very, very particular Sanskrit word. I repeat, Jalp, Vitanda, and Vat. I will take one later. First, I would like to tell you about two words, word, jalp and vitanda. Vitanda means the person who does not have any principle. And even he is engaged in arguments. And he says, whatever you are saying, this is not correct. Whatever theory you give, he says, this is not good, this is wrong. Then you ask, what do you think? He says, no, I do not have any principle. I do not have any principle, any philosophy. I just condemn you. I just refer to you, whatever you think is not good. So this is the method of Vitanda. Another method is Jalp. Jalp means 
if I am prejudiced before to do it. Like just an example, if someone is non-vegetarian and someone vegetarian and they can do it because both are prejudiced. They have their notions. They can debate, but they cannot understand each other. So there is no result. If you are going with gel, there is no result. If you are debate with the Vitanda, there is no result, just fighting. So that is why the waste is a vaad. Vaad means you debate, you discuss, but freely mind. Give your arguments, listen to other, and finally whatever did, uh, comes, accept it. So this is the vad. Sri Krishna, vada pravadata maham. Now, last one. Akshara makarosmi dondva samasi kasticha aham eva kshaya kalo dhata aham vishato mukha. One more time. Aksharana makarosmi dundva samasi kasticha aham eva kshaya kalo dhata aham vishato mukha. See the first word meaning. Aksharana among sounds. Akara e asmi ayam dundvaha compound samasi kasya cha aham eva alone akshaya kala the endless time or the time itself dhata the sustain, sustainer of all I am aham vishato mukham, having one's face on all sides. First see the, its meaning. Let, of letters of I am, of words compound, I am the dual dvandva, the copulative, I am barely endless time. I am the sustainer of the having my face on all sides. See the translation again. Among the sounds represented by various letters, I am A. And among the different kinds of compounds, in grammar, I am the copulative compound. I am merely the endless time of God. I am the sustainer of all having my face on all sides. Aksharana Makarosmi. There are sounds. These are sounds. So I am the sound A. A A. So whatever you would say, if you chant ka A A is there, ka is there. So this sound is everywhere. So A is a sound, not a akshar, not a word. Not alphabet, it is a just sound. So there are sound a, e, o. In English we can say e, u, o. But a is everywhere. Sri Krishna says, Aksharana Makarosmi, Dandva Samasi Kasecha. Then he is giving a grammar some grammar. In Sanskrit grammar, not only Sanskrit grammar, every grammar has its own some principles. He says dvandva. There is compounds. Compounds means what? 
when we connect two words, two words, Ram, Krishna, Ram and Krishna, Ram, Krishna, it becomes Ram, Krishna. So it is Dandu Samas. I will not giving a big discourse on grammar, needless it. But here Sri Krishna is saying, I am Dandva, Dandva means two. And both are equal. Both, both have equal meaning, yeah? like Ram Krishna. So, both word has equal meaning. Ahame Vakshaya Kala, Sri Krishna says, O Arjun, I am the endless call, time. Everything takes birth and dies in a time, and time never dies. Dhataham Vishato Mukham, I am the sustainer of all the world. And I am watching, I am observing everything, every time. So this is my manifestation. Om Puranamada Puranamidam Puranat Puranamudachate Puranasya Puranamadaya Puranameva Vasisyate Om Santi Shanti Shanti Shankaram Sankaracharyam Keshavam Vadarayanam Sutra Bhashikritau Vande Bhagavantau Puna Punaha Isharu Guru Ratmiti Murti Veda Vivagine Vyoma Vadavyata Dehaya Dakshina Murtae Namaha Om Shanti 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 Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narutamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tatojaya Mudira Eta Om Santi Santi